Today, I'm going to share a quick pro tip on how to make your kick cut through in the mix better. The kick is usually the loudest element in your mix and the main foundation of your track. So having a good kick that works with everything else is essential. Unfortunately, finding that perfect kick can seem impossible. You'll typically end up replacing the kick countless times and nothing seems to work. Denied. You might find one that works in the bottom end, but not up top or vice versa. To deal with this, music producers often layer kicks together. That's the easiest way to make a perfect kick that works with other elements in your track. Here's a pro tip. You don't always have to layer in an actual kick. It can be something completely different, like a clap or a closed hat, for example. Here's one of my own tracks. I was quite happy with the kick overall. It just needed to cut through more up top. So I added a closed hi-hat to it, and it gave me a little bit more click. And that worked beautifully. Simple and effective. It's all about frequencies. Sometimes you just need something to help it cut through in a particular frequency range. I kept the high end from the original track and just added the closed hat on top of it. Oftentimes, that does the trick. Try some until you find one that works. You can also drag and drop or click the scroll wheel button on your mouse to quickly replace the selected sample in the channel rack. It's best to do this while the entire track is playing so that you can hear how it's working in the mix with everything else. This goes for any sample really, not just kicks. You only want the top end, so let's add an EQ and roll off the low end. A transient shaper can also be effective on kicks, snares, and so on. It's basically a simplified compressor with just two main knobs. Just increase the attack to boost the transients, or the release to boost the body. As I always say, keeping it simple is often what works best. If you found this video helpful, then consider subscribing and liking this video. Check out the links below if you need professional feedback on your music, mastering, and so on. Thanks for watching.